In this video, we are going to talk about how to add news schema on your news blog or your news article website. So if you want to show your news articles in search results with some highlighted rich snippets like this, then this video is for you. Hello, my name is Ankit and welcome to Magazine 3 YouTube channel where we talk about everything related to WordPress. And if you want to learn more about that, then make sure you subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell so that you can get notified whenever we upload our next video. So if you have a news blog or a news publishing website, then you cannot ignore that those websites which get listed in the news article section of search engines or those which got this rich snippets like news cards on the Google search results as compared to the other website links in the search engine results down below. So in order to get your website listed in the news section of search engines or to show your website news articles in form of this rich snippets news cards, then the first thing you need to do is to add news schema on your news publishing website so that the search engine can easily understand that the blog article published on your website is actually a news article and not just any other article. For that, we need to add a plugin in our news website so that we can add the news schema on all those news article blog posts. So let's dive in in the WordPress backend and I'll show you how easy it is to add this news schema on your news publishing WordPress website. So here we are, we have this sample WordPress website and we already have some sample blog posts added here. So if we just go ahead and copy any blog post from this website and open this website rich result test, which is a tool from Google to test if the web page or the blog page is eligible for showing rich snippets. Then we just go ahead and paste this URL here and let's hit enter. So here you can see that it clearly shows no item detected as a schema markup. And it's very clear if this is a WordPress website where you want to publish news articles, Google got no information about that if it is a news article or any other random article. So in order to let the Google understand that this is a news article, we will be adding a plugin so that we can add the news schema on our WordPress website. So we come back to our WordPress dashboard and now we go to plugins. We will click on add new and here we will search for schema. And this is the plugin that we are going to install. It's schema and structured data for WP and AMP. And that's the plugin from magazine three itself. And as you can see, it got a pretty good star rating as well as 80,000 plus active installations. So we just go ahead and click on install now and then click on activate. And once that is done, we come back to the install plugin section. And here we have a setup wizard. So let's go ahead and click on that. And now we have the welcome screen from this plugin. So we will click on start. And now we have an option to set the data type. So if your news publishing website, you want to show it as an organization, then you can select organization. Otherwise you can select the personal blog. But if it is a news website, I would highly recommend that you choose organization so that you can present your website as a news publishing agency. Once that is done, let's go ahead and click on next. And on the next screen, you get an option to link all your social media profiles with this website schema. So we have an option to add Facebook. So you can enter the Facebook URL here and all the other social media accounts. You can just go ahead and copy the URL and paste it here. Right now, I'm just going to skip this step. So I'll click on next. And here's the most important part where we want to add the schema. So on the post, we will select post. And here we want to add news article schema. So we select that. And on the pages, if we select pages and here we will add the web page or article schema. So let's go ahead and add web page on this because there will be hardly any pages on this website. So just a few about us or contact us pages. So we will select web page schema for all the pages and then we will click on next. All right, we are done with the setup. We click on let's go so that we can come back to the dashboard of this plugin. So once the plugin is installed, we get this new option added in WordPress backend structured data. And here is a general setting. So it's a kind of a global schema setting for your news publishing website. 
So if you want to assign an about page for this website, you can go ahead and select a page. You can assign a contact page. So you have the page list here. You can select your contact page from this and we will add website schema for the home page. We'll tick yes for that. And we also want site link search box for this. So let's take that as well. So we want that global schema to be added. Along with that, for the archive, we want to add schema and this will be kind a web page schema. And we also want to add breadcrumbs schema and this will exclude all the categories of this news publishing website. So it's up to you. You can go ahead and turn it on or you can go ahead and turn it off. And with that, we want to add comments schema for this website as well. So once that is done, let's click on save settings. And now we move on to the next section that is knowledge graph. So if you remember in the setup wizard, we have selected this website as organization. So here are the other schema details that you can enter for this website. So once you do that, go ahead and click on save settings. And the most important thing is the AMP. And if you have AMP enabled on your news publishing website, you will get an option to add structured data for AMP. So you will get a tick mark option here and make sure that you turn that on so that your AMP version of website will also get the news schema markup added on it. So once that is done, just go ahead and click on save settings. And now we move on to the posts. Let's go ahead and click on any of this post because in the installation wizard of this plugin, if you remember, we have selected all the posts will get assigned with news schema. So by default, if we go ahead and scroll down at the very bottom, we will see that news article schema is fetched automatically. So this section is coming from the plugin itself. And here we see an option to modify news article schema output. So automatically news schema is already added in this article. So let's go ahead and try to refresh this rich schema test again. So if we refresh this page, we now see two valid items detected with some warnings. So let's go down and we have breadcrumbs, we have article. So we have a warning here in the article. So let's click on that. And here is the detail of this warning. So it's a image. So missing field image, which is optional. So you can ignore the optional warnings, but make sure whenever you see a red exclamation mark, that is an error. So make sure you do not ignore any error with this. So here we see that this rich result test is detecting article schema and what type of article schema we have the type, which is news article. So the news article schema is already added in our blog post. Now, if you come back to this blog post, here we have an option for modify news article schema output. If we click on that, you can edit the information about this news schema here. So we have this main uh, page URL. You can assign a different image here because we don't have any feature image added here. So that's why it's showing blank. And that's why we were getting a warning in the rich snippet test. Once that is done, you can also go ahead and edit all the information here. So just to make your news schema for this blog post loaded with all the information, you can go ahead and edit all these details here. Once that is done, just go ahead and click on update. And that's all you need to do. So that's how easy it is to add news schema on your news publishing website. So if you like this video, then make sure you hit the like button. And if you want to watch more videos related to schema markup, then make sure you watch our complete playlist. The link is in the i button above and the video description below. And if you want to learn more about WordPress in general, then make sure you subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell so that you can get notified whenever we upload our next video. So that's it for this one and I'll see you in the next one.